The lower wheel is the one that drives your bandsaw's blade. It is made of cast aluminum and is machined to attach it to the drive shaft and to accept a tire. The wheel is factory balanced, so it will operate smoothly. The wheel is mostly trouble free. It can be damaged if the bolt that holds it to the drive shaft becomes loose. This can allow play leading to wear. Because it is cast metal, it can be warped, sometimes right from the factory. If you have struggled to keep the blade tracking correctly on your saw, you could have a warped wheel. Replacing the lower wheel is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the blade from the bandsaw. First, I'll pull the table alignment pin, then the table insert. I'll loosen the tension on the blade. And now I can pull the blade away from the tires. table alignment pin, the lower wheel is secured by this bolt, and it is a reverse thread. I'll go ahead and remove it by turning it clockwise. With the bolt removed, now I can pull the wheel away from the shaft. With the lower wheel removed, we'll take a look at the tire. The tire will need to be transferred over to the new wheel. If the tire is hardened, cracked, or otherwise damaged, you'll want to go ahead and just replace it. If it's in good shape like this one, we can remove it. I'll use a couple of screwdrivers to do that. And now I can transfer this over to the new wheel. I'll work the tire onto the groove around the wheel. And then I'll use a couple of screwdrivers again to pull it onto the wheel. And now I can transfer this over to the new wheel. again, just make sure that the to tire is tucked on down the into the groove all the way around the wheel. Now I can install the new lower wheel. I'll line the key on the shaft with the keyway in the wheel. Just make sure that the tire is tucked down into the groove all the way around the wheel. The side of the wheel with the recessed hub should be out. I'll secure it with the bolt, which again is reverse thread. And tighten it with a wrench. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the blade. That's all it takes to install a new lower wheel on your bandsaw.